In April, a social media post, supposedly from CNN, showed a photo of child soldiers in Ukraine. As fighting intensifies in Europe, brave children sign up to fight the Russian invaders, it says. It shows the CNN logo and Twitter's blue verified checkmark. But there's one problem. It's a fake screenshot. PolitiFact debunked it, rating it pants on fire, meaning almost no parts of it were true. Hey guys, it's Ian, and welcome back to Is This Legit? A YouTube series brought to you by MediaWise and PBS Student Reporting Labs. Here, we debunk viral misinformation online, while also teaching you some easy fact-checking tips along the way. Over the last few years, viral tweets of fake screenshots like that CNN one have exploded online and deceived millions of people. Today, we'll give you some tips on how to identify and flag fake screenshots on Twitter and other platforms before mistakenly sharing them. BBC journalist Cheyenne Sadar Zadeh, who reports on disinformation and conspiracy theories, recently published a Twitter thread, sharing some advice on this very topic. As the thread notes, it's becoming increasingly easy to doctor tweets using photo editing apps or even using websites to create entirely new ones. The first clue that a shared screenshot of a tweet may be fake is that it's impossible to interact with it because it's not real. These screenshots are usually cross-posted on Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, or even Twitter. But if there's no link to the original tweet, that is a major red flag. The next tip is to find the original account. And if the tweet in question is recent, try and scroll back and locate it. If it's from long ago, you can use a tool like Twitter's advanced search, which allows you to filter Twitter's entire database based on keywords, hashtags, or even specific timeframes. Sometimes the person sharing the fake tweet will claim that the original one has been deleted. And that's why it can't be found. Thankfully, there's a free tool called the Wayback Machine that indexes and archives nearly all tweets even deleted ones. By simply typing in a person's account or keywords to the Wayback Machine, you can see if the tweet was deleted and the screenshot is legit, or if it never existed at all. And if you want to get even more technical, there are free websites such as Photo Forensics, which uses an algorithm that claims to work like a microscope by finding signs of digital altering. Another great tip comes from an African news organization called Dubawa, part of the International Fact Checking Network, which says to look for discrepancies in formatting such as where on the tweet the date is located. They give a great example in the article, where the account handle within a screenshot, allegedly from Twitter's official account discussing freedom of speech in Nigeria, was slightly misplaced, but that alone gave it away. And if the claim is super controversial, it might just be easiest to do a quick Google keyword search. It's likely that some credible news organization would have written a story if the claim is newsworthy. To recap, be suspicious if the screenshot has no links. That's a big red flag. If there is no link, go to the account in question and try to find the original tweet. Use the Wayback Machine if you can't find the original tweet, just in case it has been deleted. And finally, always consider using the trusty keyword search. There's probably no need to do all of these tips, but hey, why not have more tools at your disposal? Remember, these fakes are designed to spark emotional responses. Keep a cool head and follow the tips above before sharing anything on social media. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video useful, make sure to like it and subscribe for more tips just like this. Bye guys. Don't compromise, be media wise.